Welcome to my channel, Steve of the Window Cleaner. Today, we are talking about the IPC Technopad versus the Mormon Gecko Pad Holder. Um, both of these to me are similar as in what they do, but with this new Mormon one coming out just as of I think last week, I really want to do review because I feel partially responsible um, for making these kind of what they are as far as how many people use them. I made a video, I want to say two or three years ago, about the IPC Technopad and I'll be honest with you, it is the one video that I made that after I did it, the product like exploded. So where's my stock IPC, huh? where's my stock? Just joking. Anyways, um, so when I look at a tool like the Gecko, it reminds me of this and of what it does. So the Gecko can come with a couple pads. Let me show you those. Gecko, these are two other pads you can get with the Gecko Mormon, is a steel wool pad. To be honest with you, from being a window cleaner, I would not purchase this um, with it being above $20 at least for just the steel wool pad. It makes no sense because you're going to go through it in a day um, or even your morning hours, just a few hours, it's going to rust out. So to me, this technically makes no sense. I totally get it, but it just makes no sense. Then there is this pad, which makes sense. So basically what this is, is kind of a buffing pad. You would want to use this for windows that have like a slight haze on it, similar to like Unger Stingray pads, um, IPC Clino pads, stuff like that. So one, let, me, let me get you. This is like IPC's version of like a Clino pad and this is Mormon's version. So I've used these, really like these. I haven't used this, but it could be really, really good for polishing windows up high that have a haze on them. Um, personally, I don't do a lot of that, so I'm probably not gonna use this either. So that leaves the uh, Fugu pad, which I used all day today. Quite a bit of film with that that I'll show you. Um, now this is great, but you can't use it on tint, right? Because of these little nylon pieces on here that can scratch tint. So this is great and all, but just having them in hand, the weight, this is much heavier than this as far as scrubbing goes. Um, I showed this in a video. They basically just attach with like Velcro on the back. There isn't Velcro on the actual pad holder like there is with the IPC techno pad so when you get the gecko you can only use their pads so that's one thing about the techno pad that is very good is that it's not proprietary right now it's proprietary in that you know ipc has pads that fit it so if you want to put this pad on there it just easily goes on just like that there's no straps on the back or anything and it makes it easy to change to to like a walnut pad all right so very easy and quick to change also, shape, 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 shape. So in using these, I've used this for many, many years. Sometimes this always doesn't get to the edges either, but if you cut your pad just long enough over the edges, it does in a way. I found with this, this had a really hard time and really getting the pressure at the corners. I, I, I think that this idea of trying to make this look like the liquidator like channel, I feel like it was a miss. I feel like this would have been a lot better if it was just rectangular, in my opinion. Um, it just feels like it's not scrubby. Now, shockingly enough, it got to the edges better than what I thought it would do, but it wasn't anything as easy as this. With this, you kind of kind of make sure that you've really got good pressure in the corners or this has hit the corners. Where with this, I mean, you just box out the window, scrub the middle, you're done. You don't got to think about it. So that's one thing um, between the two where this really wins out as far as shape. Um, I've already talked about weight. This wins out on weight as well, and it wins out on as many pads you can use. Now, if you wanted to use a pad with this that's similar to the Morgan Fugu, there is the Maker um, Hedgehog. Maker Hedgehog is a 10 inch pad. You'll have a little bit going over the edges, but that's something you can use as well with this. That's exactly like the Morgan Fugu, Mormon Fugu pad for a better scrub. It's hard with this product. In my opinion, it was a miss by Mormon. Um, and, and just to let you guys know, everything I say here, this is not the opinions of Window Clean Resource, even though I'm a sales rep, the sales rep with them, but I have to give you my honest opinion of this product. Um, you can always buy these through me, of course, with WCR, but um, I just feel like there could have been more research done or just some better 
ideas presented, such as Unger has a sleeve that basically has like a green rough pad on it. Uh, let me pull it up here. So the Unger pad strip washer sleeve. Let me kind of show you what this looks like. This is what I think they should have done. So there's this. If you guys can see that in the video. That. I think they should have created a the, the, the shape of pad with that on there because that is different than what I could have already gotten out of the Mormon Fugu sleeve, which I like a lot as a T-bar sleeve. Um, I don't feel like this review needs to be very long because I feel like it just did not hit the mark in what I thought it would do for what it is. Um, it just doesn't, to me, have a place at all. Um, I just don't see where this could be really used. Um, I think I've seen a lot of people kind of get into using like something like this for just scrubbing and not a T-bar. To me, a regular T-bar, the circular mop is so perfect because as your hand turns while you scrub the glass, there's always something contacting the glass. Where with this, you're just stuck with one side. You know, if I want to flip around my T-bar and go like that and be fancy and do that, my T-bar is always on the glass. Not the same with this. So I saw this, uh, I think a few months ago in an ad and I really was excited to try it. I'm not bashing it, but I'm just saying, I think there could be better things done with it. Like make this Velcro, right? Make this Velcro. So if someone wanted to use a walnut pad with it, they could stick a walnut pad to it. They can't right now, right? You gotta like figure out a way to strap this to it and that just doesn't work. So I feel like maybe they could make something that's a Velcro, right? That people could attach what they want with it. I think that could be a really good idea to make the product better. But you know, I look at both products and I think this has been around for a long time. This just came out. So I'll give it its you know credit as far as this cool shape, cool design. Um, I don't really see you know the reasoning and having the different angles on the handle. It just really isn't needed. Um, with this personally in my view uh, those angles kind of come into play once this swivels here one thing I wanted to show you was it comes with an allen wrench if you want to tighten the swivel here or even tighten the swivel here you can just put that in there right tighten it up put that in there tighten it up that's it um, but I just feel like this really wins out. If you're using it like a pad holder, if you're using it like I do most of the time with scrubbing, uh, extra scrub with windows like this, it's all this. And I think this has become very, very popular in our industry where I don't know if something can really beat it out because, you know, with this, heck, if you're, if you're, if you, if this pad breaks on you, you can just buy a new one of these, right? And then you just, I mean, such a simple, simple design. Boom, click it back in, you're good to go, right? I mean, you just have so many different options with it that I just feel like if you're looking for something good for a handle or even on the pole to scrub the windows extra, I would still stick with the IPC Techno Pad. If you do want to purchase one of these, of course, you can contact me. Uh, phone number is 970-599-1437. You can text or call that number if you'd like to get one of these, but I would I'd probably push you towards this if you ask me my real opinion about it. Um, these come with different colors, red, green, blue, only at window cleaning resource as far as these go. So I will put links for both of these. I will put links for all the pads, everything. Um, but if you ask me in my opinion, my professional opinion, I would choose this one over this anytime. It's nothing against the product. I know a lot of thought probably went into this product, but I just think that um, there could have been a few things more done. I really think it would be good, Mormon, to create a pad that's Velcro, where somebody could attach whatever they want on this, and then maybe just make an addition where you could remove these. Um, that's what I plan on doing, is probably just removing these, but it looks like they're pretty into the plastic here where you can't do that. So there are my thoughts about the Gecko Mormon pad holder. Um, as far as against the IPC, IPC definitely wins for me. So anyways, I hope y'all are having a uh, good January. Uh, it's my first video back of the year. Um, and uh, yeah, hope to see you all on Monday Night Chat Live with me in Jersey. Um, but that's about it. And uh, man, spring is going to come before y'all know it. So look forward to that. All right, y'all. Have a good one. Bye-bye.